I gently adjusted the frilly dress that adorned my slender frame, the soft fabric brushing against my skin. In the room, my mother Gina and my Aunt Martha watched me, their eyes filled with a mix of anticipation and amusement. You like your new dress now, don't you? My mother Gina asked with a warm smile. Her voice was gentle, encouraging. I swallowed my nerves and nodded, my cheeks flushing with embarrassment. Yes, ma'am, I replied, trying to muster as much enthusiasm as I could. My Aunt Martha, known for her stern demeanor, chimed in, her tone a touch more ominous. He knows the penalty for saying no. As I stood in my frilly dress, I couldn't help but chuckle at the playful teasing from my mother and aunt. Gina, always the more understanding of the two, clarified with a wink, Oh, don't worry, darling, we're just having a little fun with you. Martha, her stern facade melting into a mischievous grin, added, But just so you know, we do have a cute backup plan if you ever decide to say no to these lovely dresses. I raised an eyebrow, curious about what they had in mind. And what might that be? I asked, unable to suppress my curiosity. With a twinkle in her eye, Martha explained, well, it would involve you wearing diapers and baby girl clothes for a day or two, just to remind you how adorable you look in those outfits. In the days that followed, I found myself willingly embracing the playful transformation into a baby girl, all at the gentle hands of my mother Gina and my Aunt Martha. They had set up a cozy nursery in a corner of the room, complete with a crib and shelves filled with dolls, stuffed animals, and colorful baby girl clothes. Each morning, I would eagerly change into a cute, pastel onesie and frilly bloomers, and Gina would lovingly pamper me. She'd coo and play with me, allowing me to choose from an assortment of dolls, dressing them up and creating imaginary adventures. Martha joined in the fun as well, her stern demeanor transformed into the tender affection of an aunt. She would read bedtime stories to me, tuck me into my baby bed, and gently sing lullabies to help me fall asleep. The experience was both heartwarming and comforting. Throughout those days, my mother and aunt doted on me, feeding me baby food, and making sure I was comfortable in my diapers. It was a unique experience, and although I had initially chuckled at the playful penalty, I found myself embracing the joy of being cared for in this special way. As I spent those days as a baby girl, I came to understand the depth of love and acceptance my family had for me. They had created a safe space where I could be myself, no matter what I wore or how I expressed my identity. It was a reminder that love transcended appearances, and it was a memory I would always cherish.